He was a, a loving husband and a devoted father to a, um, to a child who lost his best friend last night. Kansas City Police Department announced today that one of its officers and a canine died after they were hit by a driver last night. A pedestrian also died at that scene. James Mulbauer, better known as Jim, a 20 year veteran of the Kansas City Police Department. Fox Force Jonathan Katz live from police headquarters downtown. Where John, there's a poignant display of the department's sadness. A police cruiser adorned with flowers. John and Kevin, yeah, that's right. It's, it's right behind us right here. Take a look at uh, the scene with the flowers that people have come down Locust Street even the past 10 minutes to lay on a car here. Police say the driver of another car yesterday hit a patrol car. This is not Officer Mulbauer's car, but another one that KCPD has set outside. So this crash yesterday caused a second collision with someone walking. That person, as we mentioned, died at the scene. The Kansas City Police Department says their officer and canine named Champ were serving their community and in a moment's notice, their lives were taken away. Our department is hurting, we're sad, and we're shaken. But this pales in comparison to what Officer Mulvara's family is going through. Chief Stacy Graves would not release the name of the other person that died. She would only say that that pedestrian was a man in his 50s. She also would not release the name of the driver of the car that hit Mulbauer's. The fatality crash is under investigation, including the possibility of impaired driving by the driver of the striking vehicle. That driver, a male, is still in custody. The case has not been sent over to prosecuting attorney Jean Peters Baker yet. Uh, the time that st sticks out to me today is that arrest that he made um, on I-29 of Brandon Howe and help secure that conviction. Baker says Howe was the man who killed five people in a South Kansas City killing spree back in 2014. This officer very heroically arrested Brandon Howe that night along the roadside of I-29. And but for him, um, I fear what additional harm would have come to our community without that arrest. So we're grateful for him. Graves says the community needs to keep the officer and the pedestrian's family in their prayers. Funeral arrangements for Mulbar are still pending.